from the time you leave home till you get back home. Uh, usually around 12, 14 hour days. And you just have to watch for other people. Uh, there's a lot of pumpers out here in the oil field and you have to watch for them pulling out on the highway. We're in such wide open spaces, everybody's in a hurry to get there because they've got a lot of places to go in a day. You gotta really understand, there's a, there's a lot of accidents out here in the oil field coming around blind corners and, and nighttime and the roads aren't built for four lane traffic. Driving is one of the biggest hazards in the oil field. We have oncoming traffic, uh, animals. We work out in the open. We have cows, we have uh, deer, all kinds of animals. And there's a lot of oil field traffic. I go into a location the other day, there's five different rigs on that lo on location. I pass 10 different trucks. Uh, trucks moving rigs, trucks moving water tanks. Transport trucks, roustabouts, pumpers. Come to work early, sometimes you stay late and, and drive in, so it is one of our biggest hazards that we have. 24-7, the oil field never shuts down. We travel on these roads day and night. Uh, it's not unusual to travel two or three hours a day back and forth to the rig. It's people traveling up and down the highway after being up 24, 36 hours. All, all they want is to get home. Uh, inattentiveness, uh, there's just a, a myriad of things that uh, are involved when you're on the highway. You see lots of accidents on the road. Uh, seat belts need to be worn. I mean, they save lives. One of the leading causes of, of fatalities is highway crashes, and uh, been a lot of fatalities happen because of not wearing seat belts in the vehicles. And it is a, a state law. And all these guys know if they are caught without a seat belt and that pickup's moving, they're terminated. That's the end of it. It's that big a deal. And it don't take five seconds to buckle up and be safe. Yeah, the seat belts is, is one of our main tools. I mean, if you ain't wearing it, you ain't working here. Simple. We're talking about seat belts. Seat belts play a very important safety in our lives because about three months ago, I fell asleep on the wheel, and if it hadn't been for the seat belt, I wouldn't be standing here right now today talking to y'all. Involved in a car accident that could have killed us pretty good hurt, in fact, on this road right here, and we were using our seat belt, and thank God nothing bad happened to us. And if I can't say that I lost a couple of my family members here not too long ago in an accident, and they were thrown from the car, so that's one of the reasons why I wear my seat belt, and I want everyone else in my truck to wear the seat belt. Uh, I can speak from personal experience that uh, they do help. I have rolled a vehicle and uh, walked away from it because I was wearing a seat belt. The impact of any accident, even five or 10 miles per hour, is, is uh, pretty amazing. You know, a lot of people don't think about it, but it, it is, no matter what speed you're going, a, a sudden stop is a, can be pretty dr dramatic. Went through a pothole, it would have went through it very fast. It would have threw me out of the seat because these seats are air ride, and you hit a bump very hard and it will throw you through the ceiling. And rough, boardy roads, uh, you're having to swerve and miss a lot of potholes. And that way you don't, if you have your seat belt, you wear it at all times. You don't have to worry about sliding out of the seat or losing control of the vehicle. A big truck, that's just more room to get thrown around in if you're not wearing a seat belt. And, uh, you know, if you're on a, on a, on a dirt road, then uh, you think you're safe and you're more apt to, to have an accident. The roads are <clears throat> very narrow, paved roads. Out here, they're mostly county roads. And for the most part, they're real narrow. It's hard for two trucks to pass on the road like this. A lot of the roads you'll find have drop-offs and stuff like that. And if you slid off it, even doing two miles per hour, you go tumbling down the side of a hill, you're gonna be better off with that seat belt on, keeping you snug down to that seat. You know, with the vehicle rolled upside down, if you can get the pressure off of that seat belt, you can push that button and it'll, it'll come undone. I mean, it comes undone right then. So no, I don't see that being a problem. You can see the shoulders drop off, so you have to be very careful because those shoulders are soft. So if you accidentally pull off the side of the road, it's just gonna pull you into the bar ditch. And if you're not buckled up, then you take a chance of being ejected from your vehicle. I've seen several big trucks roll over, and you know when they didn't have their seatbelt on, fall, it throw them out, and then the truck roll right over the top of them. People take the big trucks for granted. It, almost every day when I'm driving one of these big trucks, 
down the road, there's that little car that uh, wants to get out in front of that big truck so they don't have to go behind them. I've uh, had people pull right out in front of me before. You know, on, uh, you're going down a highway and you ain't got a stop, line, stop sign or stop light, and they'll just pull right out in front of you. Sometimes, you know, on these lease roads, you don't, they, in the intersection, sometimes they, they, they forget that the, there's other vehicles coming from the other direction. There's no stop signs out there, so they gotta be really careful. Some people think, well, I'm just driving from here to there, and you know, why do we have to put it on? But I know a lot of people use a lot of excuses, and basically all it is is excuses. Forklifts. Uh, there's been a, been a lot of accidents throughout the oil field with, with uh, not wearing seat belts and the forklift getting turned over. The employee thinks he can jump out, beat it from falling over. Uh, many times they don't. Well, that's very important. You know, you could be, you don't, it, you don't have to actually tip over for you to fall out. You know, you might be driving too fast and, you know, turn too sharp and, you know, you could fall out and it run you over. Forklifts are the, one of the most dangerous pieces of equipment we have out here. Uh, uh, if they're not buckled in and not inside that cage secure, they're at, they're extreme risk. And if you pick up a heavy load, you could tip it over and fall out. So if you're not wearing your seatbelt, then you know you ain't gonna be making it home that day. You know, you leave the yard, you make sure everybody has their seatbelt. It's just part of an operator's job. It's part of their job to make sure everybody else is wearing theirs too. So. One thing I do anytime I have passengers, I make sure that they do wear their seatbelt. It's something that uh, hits home whenever yeah, you take that risk of not using a seatbelt. Yeah, they need to encourage all the time. You know, the, the passengers should always be wearing theirs. Just... And that's another thing in these crew cab pickups. Um, you know, there's four men in one of the pickups. And just the driver having on the seatbelt is not sufficient. The, the uh, riders in the back seat, they need to have theirs on because if they were to run into something, those passengers will come flying over the seat and hit the driver. So it's, that's why it's very mandatory for everyone in the vehicle to wear a seatbelt. When I'm driving, if somebody gets in a truck, I won't leave till they put their seatbelt on. You have to be responsible enough and liable for yourself to say, hey, I need to put this on for my own protection. I've had to remind people to wear their seatbelt, but nobody's had a problem with it. Exactly, and at the same time, they kind of give you respect, you know, that they trust in you that you're gonna take care of them. They know that you care for them and they got kids to them, their wives and stuff like that. You know, the same thing that I want for me, you know. And yeah, I would make sure that they, they would wear their seat belts and uh, that they understood the, reason, the importance why. We care about their safety. We just want them to be safe. Some other people, they don't like to, to wear the seat belt. And, and in my case, if uh, one of my, my hands decide not to wear the seat belt, we not move from there, and our time is stopped. I don't put it in gear until they put it on. You know, if they have a problem with it, they can find some other way to work. Same thing when we're going home. Yeah. You guys want to go home, click it or tick it. Ma'am, I've got five kids at the house, and i got to come home every night. Coming together, we got to make sure we get home together. I can't stress it enough if you want to go home and see your family at night. I mean, if nothing else, do it for your family. As a matter of fact, I got shut down from my rec three months and I mean I, I had great credit and everything before that and three months of not working everything I had got repoed taken away and couldn't use credit cards anymore I had no funds for three months and it it taught me a lesson that if I'm not able to work for three months like that then I'm in in trouble exactly yeah uh, you know you got to have the attitude of yeah it's a build a great record for the company you're working for because that's who's going to keep you busy, but also, you know, the kids, the family, you know, they're always expecting you. They're always, there's been times when I come lay home and <clears throat> they're waiting over there, especially my, my youngest, you know, he's looking through the windows waiting for that. And I do uh, find that I want to come home to my family every day. Um, I don't, they're still pretty young. My youngest is nine and uh, I want them to uh, grow up with a dad and I want to, I want to be there to, to uh, meet my, my grandkids and uh, be part of their lives as well. And the only way I'm gonna do that is to look out for my own safety. That starts with the uh, driving safe and wearing your seatbelt. As a driver, it's your responsibility to you and your passengers to make sure everybody in your vehicle is buckled up. Wearing seatbelts prevents injuries and saves lives. Go ahead and buckle up and be safe and go home to your family at night. Never risk your health, the health of your fellow employees, your ability to work and take care of your family, always wear your seatbelt.